Okay, it's just, I believe, a little after 11 a.m. We had to let the dogs out. There's a brief pause in the rain. And as you can see, the, the wind is starting to kick up out here. We are in North Central Florida, Baker County. McClenny is the city. And already, some rain starting to puddle up here. And yep, dogs doing their business. Some rain starting to puddle up back there in the backyard area. That's because we've had a saturation of rain here uh, long before this Hurricane Irma started coming. So our concern again is uh, the flooding and how much rain will fall over the next 24 to 48 hours during Hurricane Irma. Uh, over here against uh, neighbor's fence here, it's all starting to kind of flood and fill up over there. We'll hope that drains down. Good thing about this uh, area of town is a lot of it's built on sand. So we have lots of like sand and the ability for water to kind of drain out and flush out. And uh, But we're concerned, of course, because the saturation over the last few weeks, we've had several thunderstorms and everything else. So now, while the rain is broke, I'd like to take you guys over here to show you what we did with the generator. So now this is my first experience. Now that I'm married, my father-in-law kind of helped me out here. What we did is we got this generator from his house. He got a brand new one and lent us his old one. And the special thing about it is you need one of these plugs for a generator. And we didn't have one up until yesterday afternoon. And he's, an, he's a uh, former electrician, a retired electrician, and was able to help us get, I think this is called an L30 E14 or something like that. It's a plug. Okay, and it has specific... Oh, pull it out here. Okay, I'm not going to pull it out because it's taking a little bit. And I don't want to mess it, it up. So there's a special plug you got to get for your generator that will help it run. Now, of course, it'll run AC 120 volts. But this right here will help it run 220. Okay? So with enough power here, we're going to run this... We ran this cord all the way into my house. Now, the big thing is, is that you've got to run your power cord somehow into your house without you've got to run it somehow into your house while keeping the doors closed because the doors have to remain closed to keep out the water so what we've done is plastic sheeting and lots of sandbagging here at the door so that's what you can see right there we don't want any of that seeping in so we've got it sandbagged up and plastic sheeted right there by the doors I'll take this can of gas and take it back into the generator room. So that's what we did. We ran the power cord right up here in through the dryer vent, and that leads into the dryer room, which is where our laundry room is, and that's where our power panel is. I'll show you that next. So like I mentioned, we're in the laundry room now. You can see the washer and dryer there, our spare fridge, which we're gonna keep running when the power goes out. But what we had to do was run this power cord that you saw outside back through the dryer vent, which is okay because we're not going to use the dryer or the washing machine during the hurricane or the subsequent power outage. But what this is allows us to do is run this orange cable from that generator you just saw all the way up into our power panel. So now, taking a look at our power panel, we've got it marked. Here in the red, that's where the dryer was once plugged in and we now have our power going into the circuit breaker. These white marks here are circuits that we're gonna need to turn off, like the hot water heater, uh, the air conditioner, and so forth, so that we don't use too much power and use some of the appliances that soak up too much power. We basically wanna be able to keep the lights running. We wanna be able to keep the fans running. We still wanna be able to make a pot of coffee, but most importantly, we wanna keep our refrigerator and freezers running. That's the key. As long as we have cold food and we can run the refrigerators and the freezer, we should be good without main power for a couple of days. Make sure you click like and subscribe on this video. Click the notifications bell so that you get more updates as we track Hurricane Irma 2017 as it hits McClenny, North Central Florida, and Baker County.